At the T-minus three-minute mark, tape recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data. This is WOMMLP operating out of Burlington, Vermont, 105.9, The Radiator. Good evening. It's The Rocket Shop. I'm your host, Tom Proxer, and with me tonight is Perry the Dad. Good evening. Good evening. How's everyone? Uh, good. Uh, thanks for coming into the studio. Yeah. Um, we like kicking to be up. here. Yeah. Uh, it's your first time, first time here? Oh, uh, this is actually my second time here. I thought as much. Yeah. Wait, is this your first time as a solo artist? Yes, this is my first time as a solo artist. Right. Last I time was uh, was a collaboration with uh, Obi the Voice God. Right. So. Yeah, I do remember that. That was a few years ago now, right? That was last year. Was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. Time is a flat circle, man. I. Anyway, um, we like kicking it off with a song. So what have you got for us? Um, actually, I have an original song that I wrote uh, not long ago. It's called Omalicha. It's from my upcoming EP that's going to be out April 28th, so. All right. Yeah. We'll take it away. All right. Maybe I'd better go missing. Move all the way to Cairns like the movies. My friends would think they never really knew me. Instead, I listen to blues and think of you and everything that we've been through. Both your eyes so bright like the moon. Show me love, baby, like you do, like you do Oh, my little come my way Don't you do nobody like me Show me love, baby, like you do, like you do Oh, my little come my way Don't you do nobody like me, girl Show me love, baby, like you do I don't wanna hold you back but lately all I see is dollar signs You don't gotta be like that We don't gotta go too fast Right foot off the gas, both hands off the wheel Looking at you go, you feel so real low. So, so real Baby, I need it One more hit, I'm feeling Can't you tell I'm losing my mind? Girl, I need it Cause baby, I need it one more hit, I'm feeling. Can't you tell I'm losing my mind? Girl, I mean it. So, oh, my little child, come my way. Don't you do nobody like me? Show me love, baby, like you do, like you do. Oh, my little child, come my way. Don't you do nobody like me? Girl, show me love, baby, like you do. Like I remember you, you were different You wasn't you, mood swings used to ghost me And nothing new, but I'm a fighter I just wanna kick it with you I can't lie, when you call, I answer you Gotta admit, I'm in heaven with you Ain't no hell with you, angel Name on a honey bun, then I eat it Give you the pen to my credit card, push the limit Got me acting random, girl, I can't believe it So make you come my way, come my way Go there, okay, okay. Come my way there with by Perry the Dad feet uh, over the voice guard. Yeah, I, as I live and breathe, you look different every single time you come in. I swear to God, it's the hair, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it would be nice to see you again. Um, so you said that one's from your new EP coming out in April. Yes. What's the new EP called? Uh, the new EP is called Nineteen. Um, this is the first time I'm actually announcing it. It is. 
um, spelled nine and then T E E N. Um, so yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, why nineteen? Um, well, because I'm gonna be nineteen, and also because it's sort of like uh, a lot. The EP is a lot about being that age and like being young and in general and just like you know what comes with that and all of that. So. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so you're not actually 19 just yet? Not yet. It's kind of like a happy birthday present to myself. So, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, it's about being 19 as well. So, I mean, yeah. you're seeing into the future here. And what yeah, the it's next kind of seeing into you. the future and, like, um, looking back into the past and kind of, like, um, gauging those experiences and trying to put them into a song and, like, uh, a couple of songs with with an EP. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, how many how many singles or how many songs have you got I have together for this? Three after this. Uh, so on the EP. On the EP, we, it's yeah. three songs on the EP. Okay. Yep. Uh, did it take a long time to kind of figure out which three you wanted to pick? Because this is your first yeah. EP, right? Yes, this is my first EP, and there were like a lot of songs to pick from. Um, I've been like um, working with Ob. Um, producing a couple of songs and writing and all that and um, there was a lot even one of which I'll be performing today and it's just um, it all boiled down to um, how I feel about the EP and what I wanted to put out there as a message from me in the perspective of a 19 year old I guess or, right and as your debut record as well because that's yeah really important to be able to like really uh create something that's going to be so reflective of who you are and where you are at the moment yes yes and it's uh it's an afrobeat hip-hop ep mm -hmm. so it is definitely very like new mm -hmm. or like different i don't think um there's nothing that i feel uh is i feel like it's a whole new sound mm. to me and um yeah, it's reflective of like where I come from and like um, my influences, both with um, music, like rap, hip hop, and like Afrobeats and all of that. So yeah, um, and so what was the process around picking these three? Did you have all of your tracks in front of you? Were you? It was it very Sophie's choice? Like, was there any really hard decisions to make? Yeah, there were a lot of hard decisions um, because I started writing this EP like a while back mm -hmm. and it's had different names, it's had different versions, different cuts, different genres. And um, I guess what really um, made me like um, zero in on those three songs was um, the, first of all, like lyrically and like the message I'm trying to put out and also what they meant to me at the at especially this year that I am turning 19 and it's also probably going to be my final year of college mm. and just um thinking about that and like moving forward in life is like kind of helped me zero in on those songs and once you listen to them you will really oh figure that part out yeah, yeah you you really figure that part out all right um so uh it's coming out in april yes april 28th uh, april 28th yeah so end of end of next month yep um is it all recorded it all set to go um yes <laughs> big um, pause i'm still yes. i'm still working <laughs> on um getting uh getting it mastered and um a couple of a feature on there so okay yeah so there's a few tiny tweaks left to do yeah very tiny tweaks but a lot of the the songs are done written basically yeah. So, yeah um how are you launching this uh have you got any kind of events you you're gonna be performing at or anything like that yeah um i do hopefully i am trying to be performing at some events like around where i live and where i go to school in castleton um genesis for instance i don't know if you guys know about that it's a event that goes on at uh vermont state in castleton and um also some local places too and um yeah all right that is um 
the release strategy and i am having a album ep release par- party too for it so obviously you have to do that yeah. is that one just gonna be a house party a bit more diy yeah it's a kind of like a house party performance more intimate with like um me and like i guess whoever supports the yeah movement so yeah close friends supporters in general fans exactly that yeah. kind of thing um all right well uh we'd love to hear another song is this three tonight, there's only three tonight okay Yep. In which case, I will hold off on that song, and we'll uh, delve into the moniker that you've given yourself, or the persona that have you said, uh, I think, yeah. in your bio, Perry the Dad. So where's this name come from? Are, are you a father? No, I am not. I am You're not, not a, a father. father. Yeah. 19 is pretty I, young. Yes. I don't want to be, you know, judgmental or anything, but... Yeah, as, 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 <laughs> as far as I know. Um, I'm not a father <laughs> yet, and um, actually, it two influences um for Perry the dad um i would say so part of it undeniably is um tyler the creator mm. and i just really liked um i love his music anyone that knows me knows i love tyler the creator and i think um the fact that he used his name as like you know he creates stuff and he makes music mm-hmm. and i feel like perry the i was like the what you know what am i i'm not the creator and like you know the dad um means to um means to me um it's all about being better because like for instance in nigeria if you said to someone like oh i'm your dad it's more like i'm better than you so it's like Mm. and it's not to be like it's it's not yeah yeah it's it's like it's not really to be like cocky like i'm better than everyone else it's it's more like i'm i'm i guess i'm better like being better and also mm. um the dad is like also like a like a father and like trying to be like a somewhat of a um safe space or like um i'm experiencing these things and i'm like sharing them you know with people which which is part of the 19 uh right. initiative so yeah. uh, um you mentioned nigeria is uh have you got family in nigeria Yes, I do have family in Nigeria, both in the States and in Nigeria Okay. Uh, currently. Um, yeah, it's kind of 50-50, something like that. Do you ever go over there, or is it just sort of stuff that you've picked up from, like, family that is over here that kind of, you know, is obviously Nigerian yeah, um, as well? I'm, um, most of my, ch- like, I mostly grew up there. Okay. And um, so it's, like, a lot of what I pick up is from, like, I guess culture in Nigeria and like also from um what I'd see like visiting because I'd visit family here a lot and mm-hmm. like um yeah so it's a lot of a blend of those two is this where the Afrobeats influence comes in from or, or is that from your time in Vermont you, yeah you... uh Afrobeats has because I listen to Afrobeats um obviously but making Afrobeats is like a whole has been like a whole different thing for me mm. And um, tapping into that was, um, you know, obviously due to, like, um, my influences and, like, where I'm from. And also, like, um, I think it is something that has been um, gaining a lot of momentum lately. Mm -hmm. And I've also been inspired by artists around me, too, like Obi. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not a lot of nigerian or african artists in vermont so it's like yeah not really we're (laughs) empty on that front yeah so you guys are doing something very different very new yeah trying Um, to bring in a new fresh vibe and it's like afrobeats is so broad and it's like it's not just one thing you know mm -hmm. so yeah how um how does your kind of corner of the world castleton which is even kind of more remote really than than burlington and burlington's pretty remote in comparison to most cities in the united states Uh, how do how how has your local community kind of reacted to your music um well i have received very very positive um reviews or and feedback uh from people at castleton and it's nothing more than like support you know and yeah of course, it's, like, not, like, a large community that's, like, you know, necessarily, like, really tuning into that. But um, I feel like the Castleton community kind of, like, people I know tune into it because, you know, it's, like, oh, it's Perry. So right. um, I do feel, like, a really strong sense of, you know, um, like, even though they don't listen to it, they would listen to it because, or try it out, you know. Right. 
Because so. you're like, this is actually good stuff. You should give this a go. Exactly. It's funky. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and you said that, you know, Afrobeats is kind of a new thing for you to be trying out. Yes. Um, how have you done this with other genres and kind of like it's not worked? Um, or is, you know, is this the, the first time you've been like, actually, I'm going to try and change my, my, my sound a little bit. And it's kind of worked right off the bat. Yeah, I feel like I've. I've never really had a sound. Mm. Um, it's it's really how I'm feeling at the moment or around the song I'm writing. Mm -hmm. It's never just like you know put on a um, indie beat or like a trap beat or like right. you know it's. Um, I try to really stem it from like how I feel and like what I want to um, make my listeners feel. So it's it changes. It changes. I do rap. I do. R and B's like I can do indie music, I can do rock music. It's like it really is just like how I'm feeling, and that's what I feel like being a musician is. It's like you gotta, you know, spread out. Yeah, you gotta, you know, dip your toe and everything. Yeah, I, I, and um, about the, I, I have tried different sounds, and I feel obviously I do have my preferences, which is like like safe spaces that I, you know, lean into, and like mm -hmm. you know, but um, I've never. I've never made something that I genuinely thought was like bad or trash. So it's, it's, I guess that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. In fact. Yeah. Um, and it gets better. I feel everything gets better the more you do it. So yeah. it's not really about, um, you know, doing it once and like not getting it right. It's about like, you know, still doing it, even though you don't feel like you get it right because mm -hmm. even though the music might not resonate with you, it might resonate with someone else, you know. And I've had a lot of songs that I didn't like, you know, be liked by a lot of people I show it to. So, yeah. yeah. Can you see a future where you might be fronting like an indie band or a punk band, or are you kind of got your your niche at the moment? Are you going to keep going with this? I'm I'm not really like a band guy. No, um, <laughs> no, I'm not really like a band guy. I um, I'm I'm very like if you see me, I'm very like to myself, very like very personal guy, mm. and I um I feel like my music is also like really really personal, and I don't see myself. I would play with a band, like I would play with my a band, but I don't see myself like creatively like um, you know um, basically um you know i guess creatively like with a band and obviously collaborations and like all that is like i'm cool with that but yeah. like perry the dad is like kind of like a singular thing right right it's I not feel. not something that you can lend to like you know two guitars and a keyboard and a drum set exactly. that kind of thing and i feel like i sometimes i don't even use those like instruments in my song so it's like yeah i don't want to feel like oh i have a band but i'm not using it so right. So maybe on a collaboration basis, but nothing on a, like a permanent basis. Yeah, nothing on a permanent basis. All right. Well, we would love to hear another song. Uh, is this one from the new EP as well? Yes, this one is uh, actually the first song on the new EP. It is called I Feel Okay. And it is as sad as it sounds. It's a very upbeat song. So I'm going <laughs> to stand for this All right. one. Liquid courage Cause I'm way too young I'm way too young for all this I need more beverage Liquid courage Cause I'm way too young I'm way too young for all this knowledge Way too young Praying to Jesus Lift this burden off my chest I need some Way too young, I'm way too young for all this knowledge Way too young, praying to Jesus Lift this burden off my chest I need some thoughts running through my mind Throughout the day, I need a way to feel okay I see your face, I feel okay How you make me feel this way Running through my mind Throughout the day, I need a way to feel okay I see your face, I feel okay How you make me feel this way No Parents 
worry They been blowing up my phone Told mom I'm working I don't need no one to help me I don't need no one Cause I'm way too young I'm way too young for all this knowledge Way too young Praying to Jesus Lift this burden off my I need some Way too young I'm way too young for all this knowledge Way too young Praying to Jesus Lift this burden off my I need some rest Perry the dad there with I right. feel okay. Um, so yeah, let's explore that song a little bit. Yeah. Um, so as you said, once we start listening to a few more of the tracks from 19, we'll kind of get it and what it's like to be a young guy in this kind of corner of the world. Uh, yeah. It sounds like you had a few things to say there. Yeah. Um, well, that this one was um, kind of like, well, from the, the, the start, it's like, I feel okay. Mm. And it's... Um, mostly about not feeling okay and um, I remember writing it from a place of like you know a lot going on in my life and you know my parents always like uh, calling me and like you know how is that you know trying to resolve all that personal stuff and it was you know in some ways like it's it's also it was also like in some ways like stressing me out and um, it's um, all about like coping with that and still moving forward and like um you know um having you know someone or something that you can like turn to or like you know go to and then it's just like fine and then I had that person in my life and it was like yeah I had you know many people in my life you know and I feel like um this song is just about that it's about you know that person like for me that person that makes me feel like feel okay yeah so yeah um yeah i can well when i was 19 and my parents had called me all the bloody time and uh i was running away as fast as i could from it yeah. so i completely understand on that front uh, but it is good to have those, I mean, your parents, but also, you know, special people in your life that, that do kind of bring you back to, to your center and kind of remind you of who you are. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really glad you, you kind of had a, a track about that person, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also like shout out to my parents because, you know, they were calling to like, um, you know, check up and like, you know, try to make everything, you know, in their own way. Yeah. You know. Uh, oh. parents, at, at least you, you have parents that give it, that care, which is, uh, which is great. Yeah. But I can also understand that sometimes it feels a little bit, yeah, it's a little yeah. bit much, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot. Um, so, so I, I did a little bit more research before, uh, you came on. Um, I did try and find you a little bit online. Not too much of a presence there yet, but I did yeah. find find your single Friends. Yes, yes. Friends was out last year in November. Um, I think tenth or eleventh or something like that. Yeah. Um, so it was a good song. I was very intrigued about the the photo you shot for the single cover. That was really cool. Yeah, I actually shot and edited that myself. It took like about two hours. Wow. And it was a lot of like repeated shots um it's shot on a canon camera uh it's funny because my 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 wife is a photographer oh and uh for a living that's you know it's, oh, it's, it's, it's just an eos rebel i I'm, I'm pretty sure like everyone probably has that too. well no she, what's the funny thing is she's like uh guys use canon and no guys use nikon generally speaking and women use canon canon yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah she loves canon that's what she uses yeah i i like canon it, it like I, f I feel like i can it's like multi-use i use it taking pictures for like friends and shows or like mm -hmm. um single pictures it's yeah. a great shot though um i love the, the the vermont subaru in it as well yeah 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 uh that's that's my car and um that's actually pictures actually in fairhaven for those who are around that area. 
So. Um, yeah, but it's also just a gorgeous shot. Yeah, right next to Ew. the lake. You got the all the fall colors coming out. Um, yeah. Uh, what made you think this is what uh, I want to create for this single? So friends is all about like um, finding peace in yourself and. Um, you know, the chorus goes like, find new friends, don't need new friends. Like, you know, I need to change. And it's all about like, um, being better and with that attracting the right energy to yourself. And it's like, you don't need people to like, you know, satisfy you or to like, you know, you don't need people to live your life. You know, you, you just need to be a better person and like get better and like focus on, you know, what's important to you. Obviously, like, you should have people in your life, but, um, you know, if you don't have that, you don't need, like, many friends, like, you know, so it's all about that. It's all about, you know, finding peace with yourself. Yeah. Um, how does the, the the artwork for the single reflect the, the song itself? Um, well, it reflects it in the way that, like, I guess every one of those... Um, persons and the artwork is me yeah. and they're sort of like my friends or like me or versions of me you know and um and you can tell from the picture like they're all like doing different types of things like one stumbling someone's mm -hmm. standing on the car or like you know leaning over it's like you know different personas and like you know but it's all around one car you know they're all trying to get to the same you know, plays are all hanging out in the same, you know, and it's all like, you know, it's, you know, you need, yeah, it's, it's really all about just being yourself and like, yeah, um, different versions of that. So, yeah, yeah. different versions of yourself. Um, I'm curious because as you said, it's, it's, this is like different personas and you've mentioned persona before regarding, you know, your moniker, Perry the dad. Yeah. Have you, a couple of questions on this one. One, how long have you been developing this persona of Perry the Dad? Oh, okay. So, um, I've been, I've been, I've been, well, I've been interested in music since I was like maybe five, four, three. And I've been, uh, playing music since I was like seven. So I say Perry the Dad kind of came in maybe at 13 years old. And oh, wow. So you've, you've had this persona for like six, six years now. Yeah, the idea came to me, but I never, I never really like put it out because I was not putting out music, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know, if I'm ever putting out music, I, I gotta be Perry the Dad because I was like, the only thing I could think of is like one day I gotta like put out some music, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, it's it's kind of been, I guess, in the works for a couple years. So okay, yeah, um, and then the kind of follow up question to that is there other personas that you've been interested in developing so you got this Perry the dad persona is there a different version of yourself that you are thinking of will make music or is it just kind of Perry, is it Perry the dad at the moment and that's sort of the, the main focus so the focus is that like for making Perry the dad all that it can be and that all that I can be and it's like being broad with it and kind of touching different areas with that mm -hmm. and at some point I do um want to like change that to like a perry thing mm -hmm. um when i'm much older okay um yeah all right yeah when i'm when i'm like but definitely when i'm like an og or something and it's like um you know a lot more like you know and part of part of the reason i did choose perry to dad because like um you know you see perry and it's just like a name and um, you know, you gotta have some sort of recognition to kind of like claim that as like, you know, this is Perry and like I'm the Perry, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, I noticed on your on your Spotify page uh, that it said at the bottom uh, that I should come back when you have a Wikipedia page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is the short term plan um, <laughs> to get a Wikipedia page. Um, I. It's it's more about um, challenging myself too, and um, kind of knowing where I want to get and breaking through that. And yeah, it's. Or would you be getting your Wikipedia page through the music you create, or if you got other things in mind as well? 
I want to like I don't see myself as just a musician. Mm-hmm. I um I see myself as an artist, and I think um, as an artist, I have um, a creative personality, and um, it's more than just music. It's like uh, lifestyle. It's the way I dress, the way I talk, the way I um, look, and the way I smell. It's like it's it's uh, it's personality, and I I think what I want the Wikipedia page for is. Not just Perry the Dad, this guy, this rapper, or whatever that makes music, but like, you know, Perry the Dad, and I have like much more under that, and like, and you know, I use my platform for like a good thing, and yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, uh, based on the pictures that I've seen you taken, especially the the bio as well, by the way, that that you oh. you had tonight. Uh, on our page, uh, dress very well. I could see fashion or you know, design that. work kind of being in your future. Um, obviously, you got the photography part as well. So yeah. are these things that you're constantly exploring and developing as well, along with your rapping. Yes, and I try to put that into, um, I guess, my um, music and like the aesthetic I uh, put out with that too. And yeah, yeah, I try to build a little. Uh, a little, I guess. I need to know where you got that shirt from in the biopic, but I do not think I could wear it nearly as well as you do. So it it's, might it's be actually pointless. thrifted too. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a place called Camille's Experience Clothing. It's really great. Um, I think I got this shirt too. There, it's just a plain white shirt, but um, sometimes you just need a plain white shirt. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's um, so this is a plain black jumper but i wear it all the time also for yeah plain shirts are like good canvases to like right. uh, put layers on and like clothes on and yeah uh where's this thrift store because uh i'm oh this isn't this is a rutland this is a rutland. okay so i'll have to drive to rutland for this one all right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's trust me it worth is worth it. it um he did get a shirt there too that he performed with so all right um I might be down in Rutland quite a lot this summer, actually. So maybe I'll I'll go check that one out. Yeah, um, it's not, nice. It's nice. Not enough thrift stores for guys in Burlington in general. Yeah, yeah. In in Vermont in general, actually. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of it is. Um, I went into this store and it was just like, it's like a unisex thrift store, but they only had stuff for kids. That were, Great. Yeah. So it's like fantastic when you're six foot tall, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's also it's also hard to find like clothes when you're like six three, and like skinny. Yeah. So it's like yeah, uh, a few options, especially in the thrift stores. Yeah. Uh, well, you do seem to do pretty well regardless. So congrats on that one. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, are you doing anything else with your photography? Is that something that you've been exploring? Oh uh, yes, I am. I'm taking a photography class right now. Um, I'm trying to get better at it. Uh. I am mostly taking like uh, performance pictures, mm-hmm. um, pictures for my friends. Um, it's right now. It's like at like base level, or whatever it is, and I try to, you know, use it for like content or like my mm-hmm. posts and whatnot. Um, I do want it to become more than it is, but uh, I would say right now it's it's just like I, I guess baseline. So yeah. Man. Definitely worth exploring, as I said. My uh, my wife Annie is a photographer, and there is some money in that if you uh, if you really drill down into it, and uh, if you if you're good at it. Um, oh. Let's get back to your art. You, you, why you're here tonight, which is yeah. obviously your music. Um, what is the future of Perry Dad at the moment? So you've got the EP coming out in April. That's uh, called Nineteen, or coming out April twenty eighth. Yep. Um, what's what's going on for like the rest of the the year? What do you see yourself doing? Um, actually, so this EP, um, was, um, co-produced by Obi the Voice God, and, um, I'm also getting other, um, producers on it, but, um, my, I'm, I'm releasing another EP, uh, later this year. Wow. Um, back to back. Yeah. So, but that one's gonna be solely produced by me okay um actually that that was where some of the cuts for the songs on this ep came in um was because i wanted to like you know produce them myself Mm -hmm. and like this next song is actually one that i mastered produced and wrote all by myself so okay and it's out next week actually 
So this, the last song you'll be singing tonight, not from your new EP. Not be, from my new EP. It's be, one of the cuts, actually. It will be from the EP that will be coming out in the it will be fall. Yes, it will be on the EP that's coming out. Do you have a name for that EP yet? I do not have a name for okay. that EP. And it's not going to be like a 19 part 2 okay, type of 19 EP. and a half. It's not going to be one of those. <laughs> it's going to be a whole, like, uh, different... Uh, Get one more EP out after that, and you basically got an album already. So, have we got actually a full album. On, um, actually, distance? album. I'm think I'm. I am working towards an album for 2025. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I want to. I am. I'm very big on like uh, releasing like projects and kind of having a whole like uh, you know little universe created around that. And mm -hmm. um, I've always been like amazed by the idea of of that. So. That is the plan um, for 2025. I'm, I'm, I am working on one. So. All right. Well, we'd love to have you back in when that album's all ready. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Well, we'd love to hear the last song you've got. This this last one, Big Every World exclusive. It's coming up in your EP. It's not even released yet. Yes. Um, this one is. Um, this one is called All I Need Is You, and it's coming out next week. For those that were tuned in to my Instagram, you saw. So. Right. I never want to read the signs. I never want to make you cry. Had to fly just to feel your high. Fall for you like a thousand times. Can tell you if I'm dreaming. Don't you pass me more sativa, baby. You're the one who got me going lately Me and Shawty living life Don't wanna party smoking Don't need Bacardi All I need is, all I need is you Me and Shawty living life Don't wanna party smoking Don't need Bacardi All I need is, all I need is you Yeah, I love you, girl, I need yeah, I love you, girl. Love so ill, like a stomach and disease. Bed so soft, never wanna leave. Shit so good, I don't even wanna. I know you wanna love me in the shows. You pull up to the shows, and I know. Knee is signs, your eyes are glows. I love you, girl, it's true. Baby, all I need is you. Me and Shawty living life, don't wanna party smoking. Don't need Bacardi, all I need is, all I need is you Feeling like a fiend, yeah, I love you, girl, I need you Diamond on the ring, yeah, you got me on my knees, girl Feeling like a fiend, yeah, I love you, girl, I need you Diamond on the ring, yeah, you got me on my knees, girl all right, Perry, the dad, playing us out with All I Need Is You. Perry, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. Best of luck when the EP comes out at the end of April. Appreciate that. Um, Before I let you go, do you want to tell us where we can find you? Um, you can find me on spot on everywhere. Uh, it's all Perry, the dad, because I found it first. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's all Perry, the dad, Spotify, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Please go follow my TikTok because I make TikToks now. And um, thank you to everyone that tuned in, either from Instagram or anywhere. And yeah, more to come. We really appreciate it. All right. Well, that's all we've got time for tonight. Uh, tune in in about two weeks' time when we're going to have Dylan Murray in the studio. And I'm looking at Bob to see if I'm correct on that one. I do believe so. Excellent. Um, so we're off next week. Um, but yes, please tune in then. Uh, this has been WOM LP operating out of Burlington, Vermont, 105.9 The Radiator. It's been The Rocket Shop. I've been your host on Proctor, and good night. Nice. Solid. Oh. <laughs>